Hey guys, how you doing? So I'm at the airport. We drove to Washington DC, long drive, but we're doing a connection here to Morocco, then to Italy. That's where we're going. We're going to Italy and I'm going to be doing a lot of budget friendly things. We're going to be going to uh, Cinque Terre and I'm going to try to do everything on a budget so that way when you guys go to Italy, you guys can see what you can do on a budget that not everything in Italy is just money, money, money. And then from Rome, we're going to drive to Positano and in Positano, we're going to be there a couple of days. And again, I'm going to do a lot of budget stuff, budget uh, friendly restaurants. Okay hey guys, so we just arrived in Morocco and I don't know if you guys know this, but Morocco has like a big French influence. It's like the second language out here. And I'm gonna show you guys our breakfast because we decided to get some French stuff. Here we go, this is my latte and they have the croissants and a French pastry right here. Framboise, look at that. And the croissants, you can hear them I don't know if y'all can hear the crispiness. And this is the bakery that we're in here in Morocco waiting for our connecting flight to Rome. It's a French bakery. Okay, so I'm gonna try the coffee in front of you guys. Can you guys see it? Strong, strong coffee, look at that. It's not bad, it's not super creamy like the way I like my coffees. Like the one in Greece, that was so creamy. That was, oh my God, on point. I've never had a coffee like that. It's good, but it's not creamy like the way I would like it to be. Now I'm gonna try the croissant, the French croissant. It's pretty good. It's not exactly how it was in Paris, but still yeah, good. I like right it. It's right after friends. It's right after friends, yeah, perfect. Good. So I'm about to try the, the dessert, the little French pastry that we got. Mm, those raspberries are very tart, but they're really good. And the pastry is not that sweet and it's fluffy. The cream is very, perfectly well balanced. I, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's not too sweet at all. I'll show you guys again. Hey guys, so we finally made it to Rome and it's dinner time so we came to a place that I found online that is supposed to be a budget friendly restaurant and I'm about to show you guys uh, the prices on here. Okay, here we go. These are some of the prices. The carbonara, which is very popular out here, it says right there is made with egg, pork, pork cheek, black pepper, and pecoroni cheese. It's a really good pasta. I recommend it to try when you come to Italy. And look at all the prices. All very budget friendly, not overly priced. And then right here, they have a special menu where you can choose whatever pasta with water and dessert for only 12.50 euros, which is a really decent price. And this is the name of the place. Pasta in Corso, here in Rome. So this is the carbonara pasta, and this is the gnocchi in carbonara sauce. And Nathaniel has chicken over there with fries. So I'm about to try the carbonara pasta. It's hot. There it is. Mm, it's so good and creamy. This is really good. I like it. And it comes with like little pieces of pork on it. Mm. The pasta is much thicker. Pasta out here in Italy is very al dente. It's not like softer like, like it is back at home, but I like that. Oh my God, it's so good, guys. Look at this. Mm. How's your chicken? It's delicious. It's delicious, really? It doesn't look appetizing, but it's actually really good. I'm gonna try it, guys. 
Mmm, that's really good. Mm. Tastes a lot better than what it looks. Yeah, like at first sight, that steak didn't look, I mean, the chicken didn't look all that, but it has an awesome flavor. That thing is grilled. It tastes really good. Fries. Delicious. Very good. I'm gonna give this place a cat approved. This is a cat approved place. It's delicious. So we ordered the serve. What was the price on the dessert? For the tiramisu is four euros. Yep, there it is. Tiramisu and the panacota also four, four euros. Tiramisu and the panacota over here. And Nathaniel is gonna tell us how that panacota tastes because he loves panacota. Is it just as good as all the other times that you've had it? You've had it? The syrup is really heavy. The syrup is heavy? Yeah. Okay, here it is, my tiramisu. Oh my God, it's so good. The cream is amazing. Mm. Oh my God. If you like creaminess, if you like creaminess, this is really creamy. It's just the consistency is so creamy. Not, you know, nothing like the one back at home. The back at home, the one back at home is not bad, but this one just has this taste and this creaminess to it. It's so good. Hey guys, so my last thoughts on this restaurant is that it's actually really good. I thought it was very budget friendly because here in Rome, you can actually go to places and end up spending around 15 to 20 euros a plate. We only spend uh, 10 euros a plate here, which is really good and affordable. The desserts were all four euros. I'm not quite sure how much desserts will be in other places. I can assume it's probably similar. But my tiramisu was really good. The, the cream, it was amazing. I think this, uh, the, yeah, the Marcos bone cream, it was delicious. Very, very light on the sugar. And it just had this sweetness to it, just like the right amount of sweetness and creamy texture to it. I loved it. It was amazing. And Nathaniel said that it was not the best panacota he's had. I agree with him. I tried it. The best one we had was in Paris. If you haven't seen that video, check it out right there. That Paris video, that panacota is really good. If you ever go to Paris, check out that restaurant if you're like a panacota fan. Panacota is like, it's, it's like a custard, right? Yeah, it's Italian custard. It's an Italian custard, but apparently it's really, they make it really good in Paris. But hey, it's just our first day here. We're gonna find many more down the road. Somewhere in Positano or Cinque Terre. We're gonna find a better panacota. And I'm gonna show you guys. Good morning, guys. So it's morning here in Rome and I'm about to have my breakfast. We actually had a really good night. We slept pretty, really good. We needed that after that long travel from the United States. And I'm gonna show you guys my breakfast. So to start off, they have croissants and I made a little sandwich. They have yogurts, eggs, salads, and I just wanna point out the coffee. The coffee is really delicious and creamy. I love it. And then they have a really big pastry section and I'm gonna show you guys that. So the croissant, mm, very flaky. Mm, my God, it's so good. I don't know if y'all can hear this. I hope y'all heard that. Oh, it's so good. Very good. My latte. It's so good. I love it. I think that one of the best coffees that I like when it comes to creaminess is always in Italy and all in Europe. They have delicious coffees and lattes. And this is a little sandwich that I made. They have like a little cute little thing. I'm gonna show you guys the little contraption. You make a sandwich and you put it in. Oh, and Nathaniel just got the pastry, so I'm gonna show you guys. Look at this, guys. I think this is like that lemon thing we had in Positano on this. Like a little lemon cake and it was delicious. Look at this, guys. Looks so nice. I bet it's gonna taste good, all these pastries. This is what breakfast looks like in Italy. Here are the hams and cheese session. And then right here they have the breads and this is the little contraption I was telling you guys that you make a sandwich and you put it in here and the toast, pretty cool. And then here they have the eggs. 
everything in general is pretty good except for the eggs. I prefer, you know, like scrambled omelets. I'm not a big, I mean, not scrambled, like sunny side up and omelets. I'm not a big fan of scramble. And they have like a salad area here with fruits. And they have more fruits right here. And then look at this, guys. Look at this deliciousness. All these pastries. It looks so good. Mm. Breakfast in Italy. Oh my God. It's like it's another level. It's amazing. Look at this. And sweet croissants. And here they have a yogurt session with uh, granolas and stuff like that. Cheeses. Milk. And then right here, which I found really interesting, and I saw this last time I came to Italy, it's called the multivitamin juice. Let me focus. There it is. Multivitamin. So it's like vitamin C juice with other juices, and it's like really popular out here. And then these are the coffee machines where you can make a delicious latte, cappuccino, etc. And they're actually really good. Delicious. Hey guys, so this is the Hotel Roma that we're staying in. And I love the little decor that they have with the little luggages. It's really cute. They make it look like very antique with a lot of antique little designs. Like that little machine right there. I love the way it looks. Look, they have the, sorry. The little antique piano. This is a very nice ni nice hotel. I really like it. Look, little antique luggages. All the decor is like that. Look at the little antique bike. Kind of like, I guess, maybe the way things used to look back in the day when people would check in. It was really enjoyable. But yeah, that's it. This is the lobby. Pretty cool lobby. Of how things used to look back in the day. Oh, look at this. Here are the antique luggages. Look, very antique and little antique radio. So cool. I like it. Look at this. The typewriters, antique ones. Yep, Hotel Roma. Guys, so this is the outside of the hotel. It's very historic looking. And as you guys saw from the inside, they have a lot of antique things. Hey guys, I'd like to point out that a lot of the trees here have oranges in them. I don't know if you guys can see that. There it is. They have oranges in the trees. Hey guys, so we're actually on our way to Cinque Terre. Well, to La Specie. La Specie is about, what, like 30 minutes from Cinque Terre? Spezia is... La Spezia. What, like 30 minutes? 30 to 50. 30 to 50 minutes from Cinque Terre. So it's like ideal if you want to be like on a budget. And also if you have your own car like we do, because we just feel like you save a lot more money when you rent a car versus taking overs everywhere that can get a little expensive. Especially when you're traveling from long distances. Because Cinque Terre from Rome is about like four and a half hours. The reason why we're staying in La Specie is that there's no cars in Cinque Terre. So it's kind of impossible to take your car there. So what we'll do is that we're going to be in an Airbnb in La Specie. And then we're going to be taking uh, the train to all five villages in Cinque Terre. Which is what a lot of people do. And it's just, it seemed more reasonable for us to do this and a lot easier and more easy going for us to do them than trying to find an airbnb in Cinque Terre, running around with luggages that looked like too hectic for me
So we're going into the entrance of the Airbnb we got here in La Especie. It's very beautiful. We have incredible views in the back. You can see little villages. This is the entrance. Oh, look, they got some, some toys for the little bambino. Hey, look, toys for bambino. Look at the view, guys. Very nice. It's very pretty. Magnifique, 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 magnifique. This is the kitchen. Here in Italy, they knew we were coming with the baby. They got all the baby stuff ready. These are the rooms. So this is one room. Oh look. They brought everything for the baby. Very nice room. We got a window here too. Very nice. Very nice. Magnifique. Oh, and this is the bathroom. And you got a view here in the morning. You can see a little village over there. Oh, and some lemon trees. guys look at the view from our airbnb so beautiful i love the little village up there let me zoom in look at that little village so cute they were so sweet they knew we were coming with our son so they prepped for him little toys there's a, a baby crib in there as you guys saw a little high chair it's really nice of them i love it here it's like a little like i'm in the countryside with beautiful villages, surrounded by beautiful villages. Hey guys, so we came to uh, an Italian uh, restaurant. Obviously, it's Italian. I meant a pizza joint in La Spezia. And I'm not gonna bother showing you guys the menu because this looked like this is a joint for locals. The menu is all in Italian. There's nothing in English. So download the Google Translate app because what I did is that I will hold the Google Translate app like the little camera icon would hold it on top and it would translate everything to me in English. That's how I was able to order. I got the margarita pizza and the salad that comes with like a bunch of different things when it comes out to show y'all. And for the salad it was 750 euros and for the pizza it was six euros. So hopefully it's delicious because this is a place for locals only. Guys, so this is the name of the pizza joint in La Specie. If you're ever here, check this place out. I haven't given it my cat approved yet because I haven't tried it, but this is the name anyways. Just in case you guys may be interested. This is a very local joint, nothing in English at all. No. What is this right here? This is a lemon drink? What is it? Yeah, lemon drink. I thought it was fresh. It said fresh. This is not Colombia. You're not going to freshly make it. Nathaniel's still thinking that he can get like freshly squeezed stuff. I mean, I'm sure you can in some places, but in Colombia you can everywhere. So he thinks that every time he goes out of the country, they're gonna do the same thing that they do in Colombia, give him freshly squeezed juice. And he got a can and he's upset about that. Chickpea flour. Hey guys, so this is chickpea flour, farinata. And it has a lot, it has cheese inside. It doesn't have any sauce in it. Nathaniel feels like it needs the sauce, but... For me, I feel like it's so good and cheesy and creamy in the inside. I love it. Very good pizza. Delicious. My first Italian pizza slice, margarita. So good, delicious pizza. Mm -hmm. Very good. Margarita. Nathaniel's first calzone in Italy. Literally, even though we've been here before, I don't think he's ever ordered a calzone before. I could use more sauce, but. Focaccia. It comes with it, right? Pato. Okay. Uh, baby. Okay. Okay. <laughs> For the baby, okay. he liked that. So this is my Italian salad. It comes with a lot of veggies and mozzarella. When I tell you guys that 
you don't know what mozzarella tastes like, it's because you've never tried this one. This is the best mozzarella you'll ever try in your life. The one here in Italy. And it comes with tuna. Very yummy. So this plate is $7.50 and it comes with all of this. So if you're looking to stay on a budget, get this. It comes with the protein and then it comes with the whole piece of focaccia right there. That's big. I love how they make uh, olive oil in little pouches individually and then you just pour it on. Um, I love this olive oil. It's one of the best. The one in yours is pretty good too. And they give me a little bit of salt. How does this work? Oh, okay. There you go. And a little bit of dash of salt to it. Oh, this is like on, on a thicker side. Look at this. I like how that looks. Looks professional now. Show my salad. Looks like professional salad. Nice and decorated. Oh, and it also comes with this whole plate of focaccia. All salads come like that. So if you're looking to stay on a budget, this is perfect. It's 750 euros. And it comes with all the protein that you need plus the bread on the side. If you want to get your best vegetables in or you can opt for just getting the pizza, which is 6 euros. Really cheap. Just stay on the budget. So I recommend this place. It's catapult. So I'm about to try the calzone. Nathaniel says it's better than the pizza. We'll see. You may have something going on here. It is better than the pizza. It's good. <laughs> Maybe I'll get that. I'll get that next time. It's really good. It's very flavorful. It, the, all the flavors just hit you at once. And it's cheesy. And it's got ham in it, right? And it's got ham in it. So I'll tell you guys the price it is. I can't remember what the price on that, but I'll put it right here. It's probably also budget friendly because this is a budget friendly restaurant. We ordered the creme brulee. Let's see if it has that crunch. It did feel like that crunch. Mm, that's good. Mm. Very creamy. It's not a thick. It's not a thick, but but the, the taste is sweet and creamy. I really like it. Hey guys, so my last thoughts on that restaurant is that it was really good. Food was flavorful. The calzone was better than the margarita pizza. That's not to say that the other pizzas that you could get, like the other options for pizza, because they had like 20 in there, are not as good as the one I had. Mine was good, but maybe the other ones are even better. I'm just saying the calzone was better. But you never know with the other ones. They may be just as good. Um, it was 34 euros for everything for three people which i think is really good almost everything was six zero six zero for like each item and we ended up getting dessert and a drink so had we had not gotten the dessert and a drink um it would have been a lot cheaper but i still think uh 34 dollars i mean 34 euros for for everything for three people that's really good that's getting dessert as well we shared the dessert because i don't really like to eat big quantities of dessert but you could if you wanted to if you got a little bit more money to splurge you can get your own desserts they weren't too bad like I said, everything was six euros per item, which is really nice and amazing. I give this place cat approved. Really good. Highly recommend it.